Hello and welcome to another insightful EV news briefings on Hypeno. This hour in view we are doing a preview of Tesla's original Roadster EV from the original Roadster to today's upgrade and what you need to know on the changes. Let's get started. Truthfully, this feels more like a rebranding than anything as the played powertrain offers nearly the same specs as the previous performance trim. Played loses one mile of estimated range in exchange for one seconds saved on its zero to 60. The top speed of 163 miles per hour remains the same. Those interested in the refreshed Model X will have to continue to wait, however, as the delivery times have been continually pushed throughout 2021. In fact, these models were originally scheduled to arrive in April of 2021, but both trims were pushed to deliver in January or February of 2022. But before we continue, please kindly like and subscribe to this channel by clicking the bell notification link below to help YouTube learn of your preferences and to enable you receive new notifications every time videos are uploaded on this channel. Let's get going. While some new versions of the Model X were recently spotted, delivery times are listed as May or June of 2022. Might want to check out versions of the Model X that are currently available for delivery. From the early years after Tesla's inception, CEO Elon Musk was candid about the automaker's goal of providing quality EVs most consumers could afford to drive. With 2016's announcement of its Model 3 sit-in, Tesla came one step closer to its goal of an EV at $35,000. After an encouraging number of early reservations were made for Tesla's most affordable model to date, the Model 3 debuted in 2017. Since then, it has cruised comfortably in the fast lane of sales. The EV currently sits as the world's best-selling all-electric vehicle and has accounted for a majority of the total Teslas sold in recent years. Tesla briefly, sold a $35,000 version of the Model 3 to hit a price point originally promised by Elon Musk in years leading up to the first delivery. Last November, however, Tesla quietly removed this option during a refresh for its 2021 model. For perspective, the current version sits at a purchase price of $41,990 for the standard range, plus trim with zero added features. Tesla's Model 3 currently sells three separate drivetrains to choose from, each offering various ranges and speeds based on a customer's preferences and budget. The most affordable trim, the standard range plus, travels an EPA estimated 263 miles, has a top speed of 140 miles per hour, and can travel 0 to 60 mph in 5.3 seconds. Moving up the ladder to the long-range trim, this version can travel 353 miles per charge and has a top speed of 145 miles per hour. Furthermore, its 0 to 60 time is 4.2 seconds flat. The Performance Model 3, on the other hand, sheds 38 miles of range compared to the long range, 315 miles, in favor of speed. This trim tops out at 162 miles per hour and can dart 0 to 60 mph in just 3.1 seconds. Tesla unveiled its Model Y in 2019 as a smaller crossover version of its larger and more established Model X midsize SUV. After beginning deliveries to customers in March of 2020, the Model Y remains the newborn in the Tesla family, but has still managed to make a significant splash in sales during its short tenure on the EV market. Last fall, Tesla CEO Elon Musk nixed a standard range Model I option, but still promised a rear-wheel drive, RWD, long-range Model Y to follow. It then appeared that Tesla had gone back to standard range RWD Model Y, as it recently made this option available on its website. Almost as quickly as it was implemented, the standard range Model Y suddenly disappeared from Tesla's website configurator. Electrek later reported that the RWD Model Y will instead remain available as an off-menu item because Musk was not satisfied with its 244-mile range. That being said, it did recently receive its official EPA rating as one of the most efficient EVs in the world. 
Tesla's newest EV now comes in two different dual motor AWD trims, long range and performance. The current long range trim boasts an EPA estimated range of 326 miles, can reach a top speed of 135 miles per hour, and can accelerate from 0 to 60 m in 4.8 seconds. Its performance trim can travel 303 miles on a single charge, tops out at 155 miles per hour, and can do 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. The EV also houses 68 cubic feet of cargo space. The following EVs have been long promised by Tesla, some more than others, but are all seemingly on the cusp of full production. At least we all hope. The upcoming Cybertruck is Tesla's modern, albeit futuristic, take on the pickup truck, one of the last vehicles on the road to see successful electrification. Cybertruck is also only the second major Tesla vehicle outside the mainline S3 X by lineup, second only to the aforementioned first-generation Roadster. Cybertruck was unveiled in November of 2019 via a glass-shattering Tesla reveal, showcasing unique design and performance. The exterior is comprised of an exoskeleton of 30X cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin and Tesla armored glass for its windows. Updates on the Cybertruck were somewhat slow moving after the unveiling. A solder roof option will offer an additional 15 miles of range each day, and a matte black exterior has also been confirmed. Regardless, the hype is real. Tesla tallied over 250,000 pre-orders in the first week. By February 2020, they were at half a million. Cybertruck is currently slotted to arrive in three different powertrain options. A single-motor R2D version will debut last in late 2022 and will offer an EPA-estimated range of 250-plus miles, travel 0 to 60 amp in under 6.5 seconds, and carry a towing capacity of 7,500-plus holes. The dual-motor powertrain comes with AWD, and a range of 300 plus miles on top of 10,000 plus holes, towing capacity. This trim can travel 0 to 60 amp in under 4.5 seconds too. Last and far from least is the top tier, Tri-Motor Cybertruck, boasting an EPA range of over 500 miles, 14,000 plus towing capacity, and a 0 to 60 amp time under 2.9 seconds. Did we mention it has three motors? The dual and tri-motor Cybertrucks were originally listed as delivering in late 2021 on Tesla's website. However, Elon Musk recently shared what many had previously expected. The Cybertruck has now been delayed to 2022. Although it has been delayed, Elon Musk has exclaimed that Cybertruck will be a glitch in the matrix. Most recently, Tesla has removed the Cybertruck specs and pricing from its website entirely not good. That being said, a more recent product design has been spotted. Check out our Cybertruck guide for all the latest details in one place. The Tesla Semi promises to be the first commercial offering from the automaker and a workhorse at that. First unveiled in November of 2017, the Semi features a unique, centrally positioned driver's seat led by four rear powertrains. Tesla's website lists the semi with either a 300 or 500 mile range, depending on the battery pack, but Musk has previously stated the truck will eventually have up to 621 miles of range. The trucks are also listed at a starting price of $150,000, $180,000, depending on battery size, and promise owners gas savings over $200,000. After its unveiling, the Semi was scheduled to arrive on roads in 2019 before being pushed to low-volume production in 2020. During a 2020 Q1 results call, Tesla again shifted its delivery window to 2021. Despite multiple delays, Tesla has seen interest from major companies like Budweiser, Walmart, and UPS. Furthermore, the company plans to deliver 15 Semis to PepsiCo later this year. The semi-trucks are currently being produced at Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, which recently added a new production line with a goal of producing five trucks a week. 
Next, Tesla will move its semi-production to Austin when its gig factory Texas is complete later this year. For now, however, the focus will be on service technicians and infrastructure between Tesla's Fremont factory and Giga factory Nevada. Tesla Semi remains in the prototype stage, although those recently spotted appear to be updated versions of the original 2017 prototypes. At this point, Tesla is moving ever closer to finally reaching full-fledged production on its semi-trucks in 2021. But they've been wrong before. To pay homage to its original trailblazing EV, Tesla is releasing a second-generation Roadster with groundbreaking specs, which may include the unconfirmed potential to hover. According to Tesla's CEO, the Roadster Redux will reach a 620-mile range and zoom from 0 to 60mph in 1.9 seconds. Musk even teased that these are the base specs, hinting at even better performance. Tesla's website is currently taking reservations for the new Roadster, as well as a variation called the Founders Series Roadster. It remains unclear what the extra $50,000 for the Founders Series will get consumers, but Tesla is only taking reservations for $1,000 total. That would make it a collector's item and could explain the price bump. The Founders Series Tesla Roadster costs $250,000, compared to a much more affordable $200,000 for the regular Gen 2 Roadster. When the revamped Roadster was first unveiled in 2017, Musk said it would deliver in 2020, then 2021. Then he admitted another Roadster delay to 2022, so Tesla could focus on the Cybertruck. Most recently, Tesla admitted it is now targeting 2023 for the debut of the Gen 2 Roadster, but that will only happen if the automaker doesn't suffer long-term effects of the global supply chain shortage. So that's a big if. Whenever it does deliver, if it does deliver, it is sure to turn heads. While Tesla was founded and is headquartered in the US, it has since expanded its sales and production around the world. Currently, Tesla has three operational facilities in addition to its original Fremont factory in California with two more on the way. Additionally, rumors are perpetually circulating about where Tesla might break ground next, including an additional factory in China or expansion to other parts of Asia like Japan, Korea, or possibly India. You can also check out our specific map of Tesla's gigafactories, both current and rumored. While Tesla began as an automotive company taking a software development approach to designing electric vehicles, it has since transcended that narrow scope into new technologies. As you'll see below, Tesla's focus on solar panels, energy storage, and its own network of charging stations has made it just as much of an energy company, if not more. With advancements in autonomous driving technologies, Tesla is, maybe, on the cusp of delivering full self-driving FSD to customers. To that note, Musk recently said on a quarterly sales call that Tesla is becoming more of an AI and robotics company too. FSD has been a carrot constantly dangled in front of Tesla fans since 2014, when the company first mentioned its autopilot feature and potential capabilities. By the end of 2016, Tesla was confident it would be able to demonstrate full autonomy a year later. Unfortunately, that was not the case. In fact, we still have seen hard evidence of full self-driving capabilities, although Tesla did roll out a beta version of the software to a select group in October of 2020. This whole promise of FSD, along with multiple punts on deadlines, has led to controversy and debate amongst the EV community about whether Tesla's approach to autonomous driving is even possible. Still, Tesla continues to roll out public beta versions of its full self-driving tech currently in version 10.7. Most recently, the pricing was announced as an increase of $2,000, now totaling $12,000 for the added capability. As previously mentioned, Tesla acquired Solarcity in 2016 and has been focused on becoming a one-stop shop for all energy solutions since then. That being said, its solar rollout has been a bit haphazard. When Tesla first unveiled its solar roof tiles, the product wasn't actually complete yet, although the company had several design plans in its pipeline. Since then, Tesla has had issues bringing the solar panels to volume production and deployment, 
as it tried to test the longevity and make the installation quicker. Last year, Tesla finally began to accelerate solar deployment, but the public has only seen one version of the tiles being installed on customer roofs so far, even though it was originally listed in four different styles. Many paying customers are still awaiting installation of their solar roofs too. Furthermore, the company has caught the ire of some customers as a result of price hikes and changes to policy, which now involves its Powerwall too. In 2021, the company has discontinued its solar subscription service that was originally announced over two years ago. This was previously the cheapest solar option for Tesla's customers. Most recently, Tesla is asking employees to fight back against a new tax proposal in California, one of its largest customer bases. The Powerwall and Powerpack are rechargeable lithium-ion battery stationary energy storage products manufactured by Tesla Energy. The Powerwall is designed for home energy storage by storing electricity for solar self-consumption, time of use load shifting, and as a source of backup power. The larger power pack is specifically intended for commercial or electric utility grid use. The company recently revealed a Powerwall 2 Plus went into production last November, leading to increases in capacity. So far, we have seen the first glimpses of the new Powerwall 2. Here's what we know so far. The Tesla supercharger exists as a combined network of proprietary charging stations developed and implemented by Tesla. As a result, the automaker doesn't have to rely on third-party charging networks like most automakers producing electric vehicles currently do. The supercharger network was introduced in September 2012, beginning with six supercharger stations. This debut coincided with the launch of Tesla's Model S sedan the first to utilize the new network. Since then, the supercharger network has grown to over 20,000 stalls worldwide within over 2,100 stations or hubs. This includes North America, Europe, Asia, and even the Arctic Circle. Tesla recently passed 1,000 supercharger stations in North America alone. The average station usually features about 10 supercharger stalls, but some stations offer many more. For example, Tesla opened a 72-stall supercharger station in Shanghai at the end of 2020, making it the world's largest. Currently, Tesla is working through permitting for a 62-stall station on the west side of Los Angeles that could easily make it the largest in North America. Most recently, Elon Musk revealed that the American automaker plans to upgrade its supercharger network to support 300 kilowatts faster charging. For more information, visit our comprehensive Tesla Supercharger Guide. During the company's AI Day in August of 2021, it released many details about its progress to develop AI technology to power its self-driving system. As expected, however, there was a one more thing moment, and it was robots. CEO Elon Musk shared plans to build a humanoid robot called TeslaBot. Musk stated that Tesla already describes itself as the largest robotic company in the world considering the capabilities of its vehicles to see and understand the world around them and act on that data. While Musk didn't go into many details about the overall capabilities of the bot or what exact tasks it will be able to do, he did hint that the ultimate goal is for the robot to eventually replace most dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. As you can see above, there are several different models and variations to each available to customers. Depending on the vehicle, the powertrain, down to the exterior color, all play a part in potential cost of a new Tesla. Everything you need to know has been compiled here for you. Again, not a simple answer due to a number of factors. Where you are charging, what level of charger you are using, and what sort of output is available from that port are all common variables. To better understand these charging levels, and the differences between home and public chargers, you can check out the following guide. Another great question, but unfortunately another not so clear cut answer. Battery size, charging level, time of day, and charging efficiency can all affect how much or how little it will cost you to fully charge your EV. Luckily, we've broken it down further for you by each current model. We hope you found some useful content in this briefing. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.